Hey, Lazy Girl Approved fam. I'm back today with another wig review. This is a literal brand new one. There's only one website I see right now while I'm recording this that has this unit. I'm sure all the other sites will get it probably Monday on their website, but Wig Types has it right now. So if you like this after you see it, go get it quick. And if you are not already subscribed to me and you love honest wig reviews, then go ahead and hit that subscribe button and hit that notification bell so you'll get notified every time I upload. If you are already subscribed, thank you so very much. Y'all are awesome. Um, and if you are new to my channel, this is Lazy Girl Approved, which means my motto is if it's not easy, it's not Lazy Girl Approved. So there's only a couple things that I am willing to do um, to these wigs. So it's not a slay and lay down. It is a can you put it on your head, do a few little quick things in a couple minutes and go or no. So let's get to it. Okay. So this is Vivica Fox Synthetic Hair HD Lace Front Wig Billy. She is $34.94. I got her in the color shown on the model here, which is TTNYW slash 1B. And there's no information about her. So we will have to uh, take a look at the card. First, let's look at her. All right, so that is her in the package. Let's go ahead and get her out of the package and see what she looks like on my head. All right, I have to keep this fan on because it's so dark in here. I have like every light on that I have and it's still too dark. So, But it keeps blowing in my face. So if I keep pulling it out of my face, that's why, y'all. All right, that is the card, and my neighbor, I'm so glad he's selling his home, but he's blasting his music right now like a dingus. All right, and it does have baby hairs. All right, here's the cap. Two combs in the front and one in the back. See how it just keeps getting dark light, dark light. One comb there in the back. Wait. Yes, it's hiding. That's weird. It's hiding behind the tag. Usually the tag is on the other side. Because how are you going to put? Okay, that's fun. Like, am I going crazy? It's usually on the other side, right? Yeah, because the tag's going to be in the way. I Sorry, I was like, okay, if I put the comb, yeah, no. Okay, that's fun. I don't know if that's a flaw in just mine or this whole, you know, batch or whatever. So, and it does have elastic adjusters. So let's, um, all right, I had to take a break because my neighbor's riding a motorcycle again. I'm so glad he's selling his house. Um, but let me get this lace cut off and we'll get it on my head. All right. It was like 45 in Virginia the other day and it is now 75 and I'm dying. And the sky is like, it's just not bright because it's fall. So it's not bright outside. And so I have like every freaking light on in here, like the sun is in the room. So I'm like ah, trying not to sweat too bad, um, <laughs> but also get this done. So first things first, uh, well, you see the baby hairs here before I brush them up. It's not a ton, but it's enough, I think. Um, but I'm going to brush them into the hair. Into the hair. And I think with this one, this will be the one where some of you will want to, you know, heat, hot heat comb it. <laughs> hot comb it kind of up and, you know, like this. I am not going to do it. I actually had my wrist brace on earlier but it was making me sweat my hand is on fire because of this hurricane storm 
<laughs> we're getting more rain tonight thankfully um everybody's safe hopefully all y'all are safe we did have flooding in my studio we had to clean up but you know okay enough about all of that stuff um so she how do i say this she feels more like dry damaged hair that has been straightened and then soft um that might make sense to some people you can kind of see it here um and you know when i comb it and i did comb it a little bit already um that won't be in this video because my neighbor you know i stopped what i was doing again anyways um so the more I comb it, the softer it gets, but it is starting off kind of rough, if you will. Um, she's gorgeous. I love that there's actual neon under there so that you can kind of play with it. I'm sure I'm surprised the stock card doesn't have it, you know, flipped all out and stuff like this, like they usually do. Um, well, I guess mostly they do that for, I think, Altre and I don't think, I don't think they do that usually with Vivica. I think she does try to make it more realistic looking on the picture. If my camera is going in and out, I apologize, guys. It's this lighting. And I feel like every time I talk to y'all, every time I do a video is something I'm bitching about recording, but it is a whole thing. Okay. So big head friendliness. So she is big head friendly. It's not the biggest cap, but it's not small. There's definitely some extra room in here and it's pretty stretchy. So it's big head friendly. Um, the ear tabs are exactly where they should be. Let me make sure. Let me double check the other side. Where are my other side? Where are you, ma'am? Oh, you folded under. That's cute. That's <laughs> so cute. Okay. Yeah, so the ear tabs, it is the center part, and the ear tabs are where they're supposed to be for my head, which is small to average. So, and let's see if it stretches down. There is some stretch of about half an inch to an inch, so you can stretch it down if you need to, um, if you have a larger head or more hair. I don't have a ton of hair, so... Um, let's see. I like that it's fluorescent on top and then black, but I also don't. Um, I feel like it's harder to make it look realistic when the root is like a crazy color just because the way that these fabric colors are. And yes, I said fabric because that's technically what synthetic hair is. If y'all didn't know, I'm sure most of you do. Um, they just... The different colors look different and the black, the natural colors tend to look more like real hair versus these crazy colors. So, um, I like that there's a little bit of a curl, but not like crazy. And it's nice that the that it's grady, you know, it's it's uh not gradiated, but um words are leaving me today. You know, it's not just straight across, it's it's kind of goes like so it looks, you know, if you move your head, it's not a straight line, which is nice, and there's some peekaboo through there, so that's nice. I do like it, I do like the colors. Like, it is that perfect neon yellow slash green um, that I look for that, for me, is hard to find. I see this color a lot with human hair wigs that they've dyed, um, this lovely color, um, and very expensive ones. I have yet to find, like, a, let's say a cheap Amazon wig that is this perfect kind of neon yellow slash green color and I say yellow slash green because there are actual let's see yeah there's actual like greens and yellows in there so it gives it that mixed kind of look um and I keep <laughs> I keep 
messing with her because I'm just trying to take it all in and see what my thoughts are, you know? Um, let me think. Let me think. Um, she probably needs some powder in the part, but the problem with these is that when it's this crazy color, it doesn't like have that much of an effect when you have light skin. You know, if you have darker skin, then yeah, it's going to be a contrast. Let's see what, what happens. But when it's like this color is a perfect example of when powder's not, yeah, I don't, it almost looks, makes it look orange. I mean, it's better, I guess, than what it did look like, but I just, and the goal really, really is to hide these knots because they're always so obvious. You know, HD lace is great, but the knots are just like, hello, I'm a wig. How are you? <laughs> um, hmm. Yeah, I mean, so the parting space is not great. It's not wide. You're going to want to pluck that. Obviously, you can go out like this without plucking it, which I will do. But those of you who like it to look more natural, you're going to want to pluck this. Um, the hairline is not the worst. You can tell there's some little bit of pre-plucking and there's those baby hairs for y'all. Um, but it's still super thick. Uh, I'm, I don't usually see this color, these colors, neons and whatnot have a good hairline like ever. So this is not the worst I've ever seen, but it's, you know, and you can, let me put it this way. You can put it up to a certain extent. Like I feel like once you get closer to the ear tabs, it starts looking less realistic. Like this right here in the middle is not so bad. So, and I think they do that because it looks good if you, you know, do this kind of stuff to it. Um, so not the worst hairline, but not, you know, not fantastic. Um, let's see if we did. That would look kind of cool. That's cute. I'm not going to do it because my hands are on fire, but that would actually be kind of cute as a half up, half down. Again, like it looks realistic at, to a certain point. So maybe like this, like to here. But that looks really nice with this kind of you know, like this, like a this. Again, remember this is lazy girl approved, so I'm not going to do a lot of stuff in this video, but I think that looks cool. So let's get, I've rambled on long enough. Let's get a 360. Um, I can tell you this girl is going to tangle like just with this, uh, fan hitting me. It's, already feeling yeah it's already tangling so there's that um and she's getting kind of that hard texture again and needs to be finger combed at the very least so she will you will need to bring a brush with her she's pretty she's not the worst tangles but she's not not tangly and i haven't even really you know worn her <laughs> very much yet um, she, there's like three hairs. Yeah. It's like three or four hairs, nothing too crazy. We'll see after this 360 if, uh, when I'm shaking it around what happens. So let's get that done. All right.
right, so that was the 360. I went back and watched it. She is a little thin in the back, in the middle. Um, that's where my like little ponytail is, so it's sticking it up more. But that's where it usually is, so it's not like this is any different than any other wig I put on. But it seems like where my ponytail is, it's like pushing it out and making it, you know, making the hair kind of like separate over that part so that it looks thin. Um, you will need to brush that and make sure like I can feel, oh, I can actually feel like, um, what is that? It feels like one of the tracks is not threaded, you know, sewn down properly. Oh my. Let me look. That's not great. So I will say that I have not been impressed with Vivica's stuff like ever. I love the colors, love the colors um, of her, some of her stuff, but it's just always like this, like something is, you know, weird with it. Okay. Where is, where was what I was feeling? There it is. Okay. What is that? Yeah, it's just a badly sewn track. What in the world? It's the so the closure. It's it's like sewn over top of the next track. I don't know if you're. I can even. I don't know if y'all are be able to see that. In editing, I will try to. Um, help y'all see it or take a picture of it or whatever it's just it's just not this cap is not quality design quality uh made but like i was just saying i don't feel like vivica's are ever really like high quality now maybe she has another line that i don't know about that is more high quality like some of you know some of these manufacturers have different lines of wigs right within their own brand so maybe there's that but i so far have not had a great experience with vivica she's the only time i buy vivica let's put it this way is when it's a color like a crazy color that i want like this or the um was it aurora you know the white purple copper and the green you know just when she has crazy colors or the short ones I did that were in crazy colors. Just one more shedding. Um, still minimal shedding right now. Um, I feel like I've been rambling because I feel like I want to love her, but I don't feel like super excited. Now, some of you are going to be like, Oh my God, she's so gorgeous. I know you are. I know it. Um, and I'm not not going to wear this. I'm definitely going to wear this. Probably just mostly in videos. Maybe I'll wear it out. Probably like in the summer or specific something. Like if I have a specific outfit. So she's not going to be in my top 10 or my top 20. That's not to say she's not, you know, gorgeous. It's just, you know, just like with Vivica's other ones. I'm not super impressed and it, and for me, my taste, my favorite color is purple. So usually if it's, you know, not purple, I'm not super in love with it. Um, I do love this neon color, but again, it's not, I don't know. There's just something, what do y'all think? And maybe it's because it doesn't have the dark root. So it just looks, I don't know. It's just, and I know some of y'all are going to just do amazing things with this. And this will probably be one that ends up on my, you know, sale, um, in, in a couple months, I'm actually halfway done finishing getting my sale for this month ready. Um, I made a website and I'm going to put them up there. Um, and I'm just going to, after that site is up and I do that first sale, I'm just going to put them up as I'm, you know, as I buy new wigs, I got to get rid of some more. So I'll just keep putting them up. Um, but I'll let you guys know when that happens. It's soon. I have the week after next off. So it'll probably be that. It's the week of Thanksgiving. It'll probably be up then because I have to make sure I have enough time to get everything ready. Um, it'll definitely be 
within 30 days. Um, so there's that. I'm rambling. Okay, so is she lazy girl approved? Uh, technically, yes, because you just cut the lace off and go. You don't have to put powder on the part. You don't have to do anything else if you don't want to. She doesn't look absolutely horrible out of the package just walking out of the house at all. She looks pretty. People will be like, oh, my gosh, your hair is so awesome. You know, they'll be like, that's great. Um, she is big head friendly. Um, she's kind of tangly, like even doing the 360 and now it's just, so she's tangly, which I don't like. And yes, I expect it kind of with a wig like this, but it's not usually like that without me even really wearing it outside or anything. And yes, I have a fan on. So this is sort of simulating what wind would be outside, but not, I mean, it's just, and you, so I didn't want to brush brush through her because she's got those curls, but you, it feels like you do need to, okay, now it's shedding. You do need to brush through it to get her to behave. So, so, you know, as far as lazy girl approved goes, yes. Would I, let's see, $34.94. That's not bad. That's not bad. Um, now, if this was like fifty four ninety four, I know it's only twenty bucks, but I just I think I'm just spoiled with Bobby Boss um, and the quality of their stuff for these same prices. So now they don't have a neon yellow one though. So there's that. Let me know what you guys think of this um, wig. I feel like I don't know. I feel like maybe I'm being too hard on it or something. And I really wanted to love it. Um, I don't hate it. it. Just I'm not super excited about it. So maybe I'll do this, include this in the giveaway when I get to a thousand subscribers, because I know some of y'all would be like, that wig is fire. I would slay it and I would, you know, do stuff to it and just make it look amazing. I wish my hands could do this, but I can't. <laughs> it doesn't bend. That's just one of the issues with it. It is literally fused together, not by doctors. It did it itself. And the pain is just stupid. If I like today is really bad because of the hurricane. I can't grasp things properly. Like I, I can't open doorknobs right now. I can't. There's so many things I can't do without it just being absolutely painful. So Anyways, I have four more videos at least to record today. I have Baja. Um, I have um, 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 Gila, Nadia, Devin. So, and I think I'm going to post this one first. So this should be the first one I post. Um, and I promised you guys I would talk more about my husband and how we met and what he thinks of my wig. So I will do that in the next one. I'll do that in the Baja where I have three colors because then there'll be places for me to talk. I've rambled on already enough for y'all. Um, if you liked my content and you're still here with my silly butt, make sure you subscribe to my channel and hit that notification bell. Um, I was taking a little bit of a break for a while for many reasons, um, but now I'm back to, it will be at least once a week, probably three, three or more times a week right now, just to get them out to you. Um, thank you guys for your support. Thank you for being here. I think I'm going to go eat a sandwich right now. I think my body needs sustenance because words are just. <laughs> All right, guys. Thanks for hanging out with me. I'll see you guys again soon. Oh, I can barely wave. <laughs> Bye.